Hey everybody, welcome to Little John's Yarns. I'm Alicia. If this is your very first time here, what we like to do is talk about uh, anything yarn related and drink wine. So how is everybody doing? Where are you from? I already seen some of my uh, faves already in here. I see Najat, she says she's from Kuwait. I see Proverbs 31, ooh, and Gloria. Hey everybody. So what's going on? Let me see what else is in the chat. Who is the first one here? I would like to mention always the first one here. She, uh, Conchita, you were the very first one to comment. So what today's live stream is about is all about crochet baskets. And we have several amazing crochet designers that we're going to be talking about. And so you don't have to worry about wondering where all these patterns are. Of course, down in the description box below, there is a link to every single pattern that we're going to be looking at today. And also, I would like to say thank you to our sponsors today, Chirp Audiobook. You'll notice down at a little ticker at the bottom of the screen, what Chirp Audiobooks is, of course, is an audiobook subscription service, which is has absolutely no subscription fee. It's not a subscription service. I'm sorry. It's an audiobook service with no subscription fee. So anybody who uh, gets a book from there, down um, below, there's a promo code, Little John's 5 You'll receive $5 off your first order. So make sure you check that out because they have a whole bunch of books marked up to 95% off. So you'll definitely get a whole bunch of books free. And remember, there is no subscription for them. All right, so let's get into the patterns. Oh, I forgot. Since this is a pretty great day, you're going to get a $5 off. I'm also adding some things to my will of fun. Anybody who donates via Super Chat, you'll notice a little dollar sign in the comment section. When that happens, the bubbles go off, the lights flash, and you'll get to spin the wheel of patterns. And today, since I have so much yarn, I'm adding some yarn into the spin. So we have some yarn from Knit Crates. This one is a 10% cashmere Stellina yarn. The Stellina is the shiny yarn that's inside of it. And I believe Superwash Merino, it is very soft. Look at the sparkle on that yarn. And you'll get two of these. I just have to cake up the other one. The next yarn is this yarn right here. This is called, I believe, Kabasi Plus. This is a very beautiful yarn. This yarn is made of 55% cotton, 16% bamboo, 21% elastic nylon, and 8% silk. You'll receive two hanks of these. Once that's gone, I still have more yarn. This is also from Knit Crates. Look how soft this bulky weight yarn is. I wish I had like a better high quality camera so you can actually see how pretty this yarn is. This one is made of 70% superwash merino, 20% kit mohair, 10% silk. So you'll get two of these. If you happen to donate and spin the wheel, you'll have a chance to win these. And there's also other patterns that'll be on the wheel. So let's get into this. So for the very first part, I like to ask, uh, you can ask, I either ask a question of you or you can ask a question to me and then we'll get into the thing. So right now you can ask any question that you want of me. You can put question marks in front of it. So when you comment, I'll know to bring it up the front. So you have any questions for me right now? Make sure you ask them. All right, let's hop into the very first one. Right here, this one is called the Dots Little Ditty Bad. This is the pattern right here, but there is no picture on it. So here we go. I'm showing you this picture here. Okay, is it a bag or is it a basket? With this wide bottom, sturdy side, single strap, it could really be either one. My favorite part about this free crochet basket pattern is that it's unique uh, handle design. Bright colors like pink and purple, and it's perfect for spring and Easter too. You can make this easy crochet basket pattern using just single crochet stitches. I really do love this handle right here, but when you go to the pattern site, there won't be a picture. All right, the next, oh, the uh, designer of that last pattern is Pattern by Dot. This next basket, I absolutely love, like the ombre looking color. This is called <laughs> the ombre basket. 
Make a dent in your scrap yarn supply with this darling ombre basket. Don't you just love the free crochet basket pattern that you don't have to buy for any special yarn for? You can make this super cute basket using half double crochet stitches and four strands of worsted weight yarn held together. The designer of this pattern is Crochet in Color Blog. Okay, back to my mug. Last time, I just asked you a question. So if you have any questions for me right now, now's the time to ask them. Make sure you put question marks in front of them so I know to pull it to the front. And if this is your very first time watching any of my live streams and you're thinking, oh, this girl talks entirely too much. I only talk too much during the live stream. If you want to skip through all this, the links for the patterns are down below. This is a place where I can get to know you better and we can talk back and forth. Here we go. Oh, this is so small. I can't even read yours. I changed the way to structure the uh, comments come up. Sandra says, when will you review the exercise bike? I know it's been sitting over there and I have been using it. I am. Okay. So she, if you guys wondering what she's talking about, let's see if I can turn my camera. Don't look at my 30 house. Over there is my exercise bike desk. I, this is basically my office. This is what I use all the time. I love so much but oh no we got a super chat my lights didn't go off <laughs> sorry about that guys whenever a super sticker comes through my lights don't go off but thank you so much nicole for this super sticker and you get a chance to spin the wheel of patterns let's bring it up okay so you have a chance to win some of my patterns in my shop or the yarn let me turn these bubbles off so I can hear myself talk. Here we go. What? Oh, we got another super chat. You get my rainbow set. Let me show you what that looks like right here. So make sure for me to send you this pattern, I can't find you. You have to find me. The link for my email is down in the description box below. It is, I bring, oh, there you go, littlejohnsyarn at gmail.com. And we got another one. Thea, thank you so much. Thea, I tune in on Saturdays because I like listening to you ramble. That's all I do is just friggin' ramble. But thank you so much. And you get a chance to spin the wheel of patterns and potentially yarn also. Let me bring up the screen share. Oh, uh, Isaac, can you get the door? <laughs> Somebody's at the door. Let's see. <gasps> you get the yarn. Here we go. So I'll bring up the first one. You will get the first one I shown. How about that order? You get the two cakes of Stellina yarn. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Because I can't find you. You have to find me. All right. I'll put this one off to the side. And we got another donation. Let's pull it up unapologetically mocha she is one of my faves thank you so much for donating so we still have yarn on the board it one of the first ones went out early so let's see pull up the pattern let's see where's the wheel okay come on yarn let's see what she got she got yarn <laughs> here you go what was the second one that i pulled up I believe it was this yarn. So right now, you know the routine. You're usually here on Saturdays. Make sure you email me. I'm so happy you got this because you're always here. So you can get uh, your yarn and your. I can get all your like mailing address. All right, I think I get everybody. So where was I at with questions? Hmm. Deja, she says, do you ever sell your samples? No, I used to sell my items once upon a time, but I just stopped doing it. I prefer making patterns. I make more money that way. And as you can see the lights, we got some more super chats. Here we go. <laughs> That's my daughter in the background. Woo! We had a super sticker. We got more. I'm going to have to pull some more yarn out. First, Yvonne, thank you so much for donating. First, okay, we'll get Yvonne first. We're just going to just keep spinning. Who we got? And we got... Oh, there's more super chats. I got to bring more yarn up, guys. Hold on. Loving Crochet by Sarah. Hope you're having a great day. Support from one crocheter to another. Okay, loving 
crochet by Sarah. All right, the next one. Thank you so much, Barbara, for donating. I appreciate it so much. Wow. <laughs> okay, here we got another one. And we have Proverbs 31. You the best. I love you, girl. I love you too. And thank you for always showing up. Let me get you down. Proverbs. For all the spins. Oh, and Lori Murphy. Hello today, Lori. Luckily, I'm like taking drinks for all of these because I would be already tipsy by now. Thank you so much, guys. I, I truly appreciate this to the bottom of my heart. And PB Anderson, thank wow. $19. Wow, thank you so much for your donation. I appreciate it so much. Okay, let me put this down. And PB. All right, guys, let me turn this off. Are you all ready for your spin? I think I'm just going to add some more yarn. Here we go. Whoops, wrong one. Ready? This one is for Yvonne. Let's see what we got. What do we got? What do we got? We got my crochet slipper boots pattern. Did I share the screen? Sometimes I forget. I did not share my screen. <laughs> I got to pull off the last. Here we go. Take this off. I'm sorry, guys. You got the, what did you win? The slipper boot pattern. This one right here. I'm going to look outside. All right, buddy. And the next, what'd you say? I don't know. Is it warm outside, buddy? Make sure you put on your uh, lightweight jacket, okay? Okay. <laughs> Next one is Loving Crochet by Sarah. My, oh, you got the yarn, okay? And the last yarn for that is this right here. So this one is the dust yarn. This is the Andy's uh, Audine Wools by Knit Crate. So please make sure you email me and please remember your prize because I know it. I'm, for the yarns, I'm going to remember these. Okay. Audine. Next person for the spin. I'm going to add more yarn because you guys are being so awesome right now. Luckily, somebody was wonderful enough to donate some yarn. Her name is Lisa Greer. I appreciate you so much. So this is the box of yarn she sent me. I might as well put it to good use. All right. I'm going to add more yarn. How about, hmm, what do we got in here? Two matching skeins. Oh, she got my girl, Deborah Norville. How about two of these I'll add to the bin? All right. Who are we at? We're on Proverbs. It is your spin. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> here we go. Are we getting more? You get my granny sun hat pattern. There is right here. So make sure you email me. The next spin is my girl, Lori Murphy. Oh, you're so close to yarn before you get my slipper boots pattern. So the slipper boots pattern is right here. And the last spin is PB. Let's see what you win. Come on, yarn. We get some more yarn. You get my ultimate crochet uh, pattern bundle. It has 20 of my crochet patterns. All right. So I think we're just going to hop into the next two because this went longer than I thought. Um, my question for you, what was the last book that you read or do you enjoy reading books or what is the reason why you don't read books let me know put a question mark in front of it so i know how to bring your comment up to the front all right so let's hop into our very next few patterns okay we did the ombre so now we are on here we go this is called the easy modern storage basket Combine a neutral tone with a pop of color for the perfect color block basket. The base of this design uses single crochet stitches and a textured rim uses single crochet spike stitches. Two strands of DK weight yarn are held at once to make a sturdy basket that can stand up on its own. The designer of this is Goni Macaroni. Oh, I love that name. This is a cute basket. I like that. Does she have any other, oh, other pictures? I love looking at pictures that as you go and you work them up. Let's see. All right. No other pictures. Let's hop into the next basket. This one is by Hobby. This is called the Ribbon Easter Bread Basket. 
Even if you don't have any little ones underfoot, you can still join in on an Easter basket fun with a bright, stylish basket made for bread. Classic yellow shines like sunshine and just like things uh, that are special for Easter dinner. This design calls for ribbon yarn and uses single crochet and long single crochet stitches. The designer of this pattern is Hobby. All right. Let's see. I think we'll do one more over here. This one is called the Long Neck Dinosaur Basket. The tapestry, the tapestry crochet technique lets you build up an image stitch by stitch using single crochet stitches and two or more colors. If you hate changing colors, then just make the basket in one color and use cross stitch, excuse me, and use cross stitch the second color over the stitches. You can even put your own spin on it and use a completely different picture. I love this. This is so cute. All right, so let's hop back into us jibber jabbing. So I was asking you guys, do any of you guys read books? What are you reading right now? If you don't read books, why don't you? Let me scroll to the bottom. Let's see. Hey, Crafty Chats, welcome back. Why I don't read. Too busy playing with yarn and hibernating until lockdown is over. That was basically the same reason why I don't. Okay, Najat. Hey, Najat, one of my favorites. Hi, I'm a very avid reader. I love reading and I also, and I'm also an English literature major. The last book I read was a collection of Sherlock Holmes stories, but mostly I like fantasy novels like Harry Potter. I want to go see all those Harry Potter movies without my children. Let's see. Oh, and we have a super chat. Who super chatted? Let me find out. Paula, thank you so much. $20, wow, hello. I've been a huge fan of yours for a long time. I have a rare blood cancer and you are a big inspiration for me to keep crocheting. I love you and your channel. Noah, Paula, I am praying for you and thank you so much for your donations. And I haven't been cheering everybody who donated. Cheers to everybody. Okay. Let's spin this bad boy. Let's see what Paula's going to get. Oops, let me take this down. Okay, Paula. Let's bring up the wheel. Yarn for Paula. Everybody cross your hands for Paula right now. We're going to spin it. What do you win, Miss? Yarn! <laughs> there you go. I guess the yarn gods are looking at you right now. So you, Paula... It's uh, my bed, bruh. You get two skeins of these. I'll put that off to the side. What else is in this yarn basket that I can give away? Let's see. You know what? Hey, how about this yarn that's been sitting behind me forever? I've never done anything with it. It's just being like a wall of yarn. All right. I'm going to add these onto the pile. This is a discontinued yarn. This is fantasy yarn, Dark Horse. It is made of 50% uh, nylon and 50% acrylic yarn. It's super soft. I've made uh, sweaters out of this before. All right. So where were we? Oh, why you don't read books? Did I miss one? Hold on. I just found the lights here. Okay. Did he text you? No, he's on the phone. Oh, <laughs> my son just got a cell phone. He called my daughter to tell him where he was going. What's well, such a good boy? Did you miss one? I miss one. I don't know what was for the question. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, I missed the spin. I am so sorry. Where are you at? And how did I miss you? It was a super sticker. I am so sorry. Let me pull you up. Nicole, I don't want to forget when I don't, with super stickers, they don't like go off. I can't find your comment, but I'm going to let you spin right now. Thank you so much, Victoria. I appreciate that so much. I don't want to miss anybody spin. And if I do, guys, I want you to spam me in the comments. Okay, let's spin, spin, spin. You get my crochet granny hat pattern, and this is what it looks like right here. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My email is down below. Okay, let's see. Oh! 
Oh, here is one of the pattern designers, Sigoni Macaroni. Thanks for sharing my pattern. I love reading, but I do have a hard time finding the time, although I should make the time. Right now, I'm reading a nonfiction book about Amelia Earhart. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for your beautiful, beautiful pattern. I can't take your comment down. All right, so let me tell you what I'm reading. Well, right now, actually, this is a good opportunity for me to uh, hop into my sponsor section right now. Here we go. Let me pull this up. Of course, this is completely brought to you by Chirp Audiobooks. What I love about, uh oh, we got a super chat, but I'll get to your super chat in two seconds. The thing about uh, Chirp Audiobooks, you can listen to it while you're basically doing anything. All right. About two months ago, when it first came out, Bridgerton, I watched like all of Bridgerton within like maybe two, three days. I absolutely fell in love with it. If any of you guys have been following me for the past year, year and a half, you know I have a thing for period pieces. I love romantic period pieces from this era. I love like the Jane Austen type books. Those are my jam. I love this. And what was beautiful about this uh, TV series, me being a lover of these period pieces, I've never seen people of color in these roles ever. So this was like so unique and fascinating to me. But on the more shallow part of it, I fell in love with the Duke. I just wanted to be Daphne. I just wanted to just have that drama that they have. This was just so just sexy, hot, and just, oh, I loved it. But regardless, after I streamed the whole thing, I'm like, I want more. So luckily, I went to Chirp Audiobooks and I was able to stream, not stream, but listen to the whole book. This is going to be the sequel to uh, the Duke and I. This is called The Van Count Who Loves Me. It's about Daphne's brother. Oh, it's basically all like the same type of story. All these romantic stories are pretty much the same. They have a protagonist that's just too smart and savvy. And the guy that she's interested in is just, oh, she despises him. And then she falls in love with him. That's what this whole story is. But each time it gets me every single time. But I was able to do it while crocheting at the same time. So guys, if you like audiobooks, please check out Chirp Audiobooks, as you can see down in the ticker below. Anybody that orders from them, you get $5 off your first order. A lot of their books are 95% off, so you probably get a whole bunch of books for free. So make sure you check down in the description box below for them. And we had a super chat. Who did I miss? I know somebody popped up on a super chat. Where did it go, guys? Kanisha, thank you so much. Thanks for making it easy for me to move beyond making blankets. You know what? I never, there's no beginners in crochets. If you know single crochet, double, your five basic crochet stitches, all you need is a good pattern. I feel like this is showing the top of my head. All you need is a good pattern to follow along. That's it. Don't be intimidated by anything complicated. If you can't follow a written pattern, YouTube. I didn't have YouTube back in the day. I used to stare at a pattern and think it was like crazy numbers and letters squished together. You got this. And I'm so proud of you, like thinking outside of the box. Okay, guys. So we're ready to get into the very next pattern. Oh, no, I didn't give you a spin. Shame on me. My bad. Kanisha, I'm sorry. Sorry. And you gave 20. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Let's give you a spin. And if I'm missing anybody, spam me, please. All right. Come on, yarn, yarn, yarn. Okay, you get my turban set. I do love this set. I just came out with this one about two weeks ago. The turban set, you get the hat with the matching mittens. So make sure you email me, littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Did I miss anybody else's super chat right now? Is anybody yelling at me? <gasps> oh, oh, you love Bridgerton? That was my stuff. My husband did not get it. And when you listen to the audiobook, it's like, I don't know. It's just crazy to listen to this woman talk because Anthony, that's Daphne's uh, brother, the way the woman, she says, oh, Anthony, I can't. I just, that's a horrible British accent, but the lady just sounded. I loved it. You just guys have to listen. Or you can read the book. I definitely recommend reading. But as crocheters, if you guys ever watch anything on Netflix, one of the uh, jokes people always talk about, 
crocheters have no clue what the characters on their favorite show looks like because we're constantly looking at her hands and not the show. So listen to a book. Let's see, who else? Sigoni, right there, yes, Bridgerton. I love, love that show. I didn't even know that it was a book. I didn't know it was a book either. I found the uh, show first, fell in love with it, and I'm like, I need it more. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm ready to hop into the next ones. Let's see. Where were we? I was just like jamming through. Did we do we did the dino bag, and now it's time for the unicorn basket. This is called <laughs> the unicorn basket. One second. Did I bring up my screen share? I did. Sometimes I just don't want you guys looking at my face while I'm reading. <laughs> Forget the kids. I would totally make this adorable unicorn basket for myself. This would also make a really great gift basket for someone who loves unicorns, filled with lots of goodies, of course. The design uses half double crochet stitches for the basket and single, double, and treble crochet stitches for embellishments. The designer of this is Cozy Little Mess. All right, then, I don't know. This basket, I just love the texture of it. All right. This one is called the Scallop Edge Basket. Bright colors and pearly scallops uh, edges make me think of spring. I know it's only February, but a girl can dream, right? This adorable free crochet basket pattern is a great multi-purpose basket that can easily be adjusted for different sizes. What would you use them for? The designer of this, of course, is Yarnspiration. Oh, and I got forgot to ask you guys a question. Well, if you guys have any questions for me, you know the routine, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know to bring your comment to the front. All right, so we are on basket number eight. This is called the seaweed, <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been drinking wine, sea waves basket. This relaxing wave basket will look right at home on the bathroom counter filled with washcloths or maybe use it for an under the sea themed Easter basket. Either way, this free crochet basket pattern is sure to make a splash. This design calls for a t-shirt yarn and uses just single crochet stitches. The designer of this is Rasa Musa Designs. This is cute. Let me see if they have any extra pictures for this one. Let's see. Uh, oh, look at the hard bottom. I would have never thought to do that. Genius. All right, so I'm going to hop back over to us. And if you guys are just getting here and you don't want to hear me talk anymore, <laughs> all the patterns are down in the description box below. And we got a super chat. Who's super? Another fave, Baudre. I love your live stream. I always learn something new. Thank you to you and cheers. Mm. So let's spin the wheel of patterns with have a little one thing, the yarn. So let's see if you get the yarn. Let's pull this down, Baudre. Let's see. Come on, yarn. Okay, you get my crochet granny hat. You were kind of close. <laughs> here we go. The granny hat, where is it? Is right here. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Let me turn the bubbles and the lights off. Like I said, I forgot to ask you guys the comment before. If you guys have any questions for me, what's my favorite color? Do I have any pets? Make sure you ask me now, but make sure you put question marks in front of it so it'll be able to pop up to the front. And we got another super chat. Virginia, have a great day. Thank you so much. And cheers to you. This is an active live stream today. Okay, let's see. You get to spin the wheel of patterns with a pinch of yarn. Here we go. Everybody give her that yarn mojo right now. Here we go. Here we go. You get my crochet turban set. Let me show you the picture of it. You get the turban and the mittens. So make sure you email me. My email address is down in the description box below. So, and everybody, cheers. Let's see. Oh, let me turn this off. And if I missed anybody's. Let me know. Wait, I missed one right here. It was still going off. Toro A Star, another one of my favorites. What is your favorite yarn right now? Oh, yes, my favorite yarn. <clears throat> Let me show it to you. It's the mic. I can't get this box out of the way. Maybe I can reach it. It's called Mighty Stitch Yarn. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, 
right here, Mighty Stitch Yarn. This is supposed to be a bulky weight yarn, but it's more feels like a worsted weight long, but a thicker one. This is 80% acrylic and 20% superwash uh, wool. The sheen of it, I wish my camera was better. The sheen of it is so gorgeous and it's like soft and lush. You can buy this at, it's, it's called crochet.com. They're a partner with Knit Picks. It's just cheaper versions of the yarn. This is absolutely gorgeous. Usually I say I love my uh, blonde girls, my uh, Deborah Norville and my Vanna. Those are one of my favorites, but I just started trying this like last month and love it. So let's give you a spin. Okay, yarn, 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 yarn. You get my turban set. I'm sure you was probably watching when the last person showed it, but I'll show it one more time. It's right here. Make sure you email me. Let's see any other questions I missed. <laughs> Do, do, do. I guess you guys are all just uh, chatting between each other. So we're just going to hop into the very next one. What are we going to look at? Oh, nine and 10. Let's see. Is that nine? Yes. Did I share my screen? I did not. You're just looking at my face. There we go. This one is called the Honeycomb Pop Basket. Think of this honeycomb basket uh, post, thinking of this honeycomb basket and popcorn stitch uh, basket is making me hungry. I love the playful use of color and texture here. Not only do the texture stitches look great, they also provide structure to the crochet basket so it can stand up on its own. What color would you use for this pattern? The designer is this, is make my day creative. Oh, this is, I didn't show you the picture while I've been drinking. I'm sorry, I showed you like a half picture, my bad. That's one of the things I don't like about using like crocheting baskets. All of these, you can use two strands or the stitches itself make it sturdy enough. Every single one of these designers made it possible for these like to stand up on their own by using extra yarn or something like that. Let's see. The next one, this one's gorgeous. Number 10. This is the spike stitch crochet basket. Uh oh, that's it. Yeah, I made it. Sorry, <laughs> this bright and colorful basket really pops. Spike stitches are especially striking when you um, alternate colors. This is another great free crochet basket pattern that is perfect for using up your scrap yarn. Finish off your basket with a round of reverse single crochet for a lovely rope-like edging. The designer of this pattern is Loops and Loves Crochet. I believe they have some as-you-go pictures. You guys know I love as-you-go pictures. Ooh, those are cute. Let me scroll down. There we go. Simple base and the stitches from the start. I keep for, I've been dragging. I keep forgetting to ask you guys questions and whatnot. So the question I'm going to ask you right now, what patterns are you working on at this very moment? Or yeah, that's going to be my question. What patterns are you guys working on? Me, I just finished up. What did I finish up? I think I showed you this last week. But I finished writing the pattern, uh, filming the video. Well, I have to edit some things. I had a mistake. But this was the uh, last thing I'm working on. And this yarn, I need a pattern for this yarn. The color is absolutely amazing. I tried this yarn for the first time, I believe, in January. Can you see the name? This is called Felici Yarn. This is also from uh, crochet.com. Uh, I use this Felici yarn. Let me show you what pattern I use it on. And the colors worked up so beautiful. Where's my scroll button? There it is. This is a version of the uh, Felici yarn. So you can see it works up in a striping pattern. I didn't have to do any complicated stitching or color changing at all. The yarn did it itself. So I'm looking forward to seeing what I can make with this Felici yarn. I can't wait to see what color work it works up and what could I use it with? I don't know. So you guys have any suggestions for me? Let's see. 
Hey, Patrice, welcome back. Can you give me a hint on making preemie blankets? Uh, this will be a first. Actually, I have no clue. I won't. I don't want to give you any type of wrong advice. I'm always so fearful of giving some wrong advice to somebody that has a baby, especially a preemie. I guess uh, don't make anything with many holes. Make sure you um, use some type of natural materials. But I am not an expert. That's all. <laughs> I try to be honest when I speak. Let's see. Najat says, T-shirt yarn is also good for baskets. They hold up so well without needing lots of yarn. Yes, I have some T-shirt yarn that I've been planning on making something with, but I don't know what I'm going to do. It just sits in my, like, to-do pile. Do you, any of you guys have like a stash of yarn that's beautiful, but you don't know anything that you're going to do with it? Let's see. Loving Crochet by Sarah. Do you have a PO box for fans to send surprises or um, fan mail? I do. It's actually down in the description box below. Uh, my address is PO Box 274 West Newton, PA. It's down there. <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to pull up Sigoni. My buttons are not working today. Sigoni Mac, I can say your name like all day long. <laughs> working on designing a Tunis Tunisian sampler. I'm obsessed with Tunisian. Have you tried it? Oh, girl, you are you. I praise you for doing Tunisian crochet. Another person who loves Tunisian crochet is Tio Yarncraft. She has amazing designs. I can't wait to see what you make. For me, Tunisian crochet I'm such a lazy crocheter. I got to be honest. I love my big, fat, juicy stitches where I can just say, whoo. The fact that I even made like a single crochet uh, beret surprised me. A single crochet beret is like me making a king size uh, blanket for my bed. <sighs> but I do love the look of Tunisian crochet. It creates a texture that you can't achieve with just basic bulky stitches but when you oh yeah since we are friends now on uh instagram when you get your uh, that pattern comes out make sure you message me so i can share it with all my followers do, do, do. let's see oops hello vontoria beach wrap for spring break Sounds good. I, I think I need to come up with a beach wrap pattern. I can do that because beach wraps can be used with lighter yarn and bigger stitches. Hmm. Deja Creations. Uh, just finished a Granny Ripple blanket. Now working on a Moses baby blanket. Here's to you. I don't mind. I've done baby blankets in the past. Those aren't too bad. They can work up kind of quickly. My computer is being real slow right now. Here we go. Alexandria Parkin. I'm finishing dishcloths for a skilled trade, and I'm working on a birthday calendar blanket for my grandmother. Oh, did your did your grandma teach you how to crochet? I always wondered, like, where everybody, like, learned how to crochet. Like, what's your crochet origin story? I think that's why I always like to do my uh, interviews so I can find out, like, how did this happen? How did you get to the point of crochet? Okay, let me pull this down. Let's see, I think I might have another question for you. Everybody who's watching right now, what type of crocheter are you? When I say what type of crocheter are you, I'm asking as in, are you like a hardcore crocheter? Everything about your life is crochet. For me, I'm a hardcore crocheter. If you used to see my wall, I have a wall of yarn. If uh, Actually, you can gauge it on the amount of yarn you have. Do you have a little bin or bag that holds all your yarn? This is the question. Do you have like a huge plastic tub that holds all your yarn? Or do you have like me, tubs, shelves, bags? What is your yarn hoard like right now? Oh, and as you uh, comment on those, before you comment, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I can pull your question up to the front. And one more quick uh, mention of our sponsors, Chirp Audiobook. You'll notice the ticker down below. 
guys, make sure you check out their audiobook so you can crochet and uh, listen to your favorite book at the same time. And if you use promo code LittleJohn5, you'll receive $5 off your first order. So let's check out what's going on in the comments. Oh, so you know right now we've made it through all 10 of our patterns. If you love those patterns, go down in the description box. I got them linked all in one place. And also, if you're just showing up here, We've been having fun giving away yarn. Anybody that donates via Super Chat, you're able to do that. There's a little dollar sign in the comment section. When you do that, the lights will go off, the bubbles will blow, and you'll have a chance to spin, let me show you what it looks like, the wheel of patterns. Well, there's patterns, but also yarn. I will be giving away yarn. Let's see, I think, we do we have any prettier yarn options over here? Let's, I know I got some hobby yarn down here. This is pretty yarn. You know what? This last one, that wasn't pretty enough. Oh, I almost spilled my wine. I have a couple of these. These are cute. The velvety yarns. Hmm. I know I have more matching colors, guys. So you don't, you'll be able to have at least three of these. So I'm going to promise at least three of these. I think there's three. If it's not this color, it'll be three of one of these colors. So this is one of the yarns I am going to put on the wheel. All right. So questions. <gasps> Lisa Crochet, she had tagged me on an uh, Instagram post. You take such beautiful pictures. When I'm on Instagram trying to take like a product picture, it's like picture after picture after none of my love. You, you're just photogenic. She says, hi, Alicia. I'm a hardcore crochet right now. When I'm not crocheting, sleeping, I'm dreaming about crochet. I'm basically the same way. I'm thinking about what's going to be my next pattern. What can I make? What's still interesting? Crochet is always on my mind. I'm not trying to keep talking about um, audiobooks, but that's, I lost a lot of things in my life because I became so obsessed about crocheting. I used to love books. I used to work out, but now that I crochet all the time, I'm always sitting on my behind. I'm like, I put on 30 pounds in the past two years since I've become a hardcore crocheter. That's why I got that little exercise bike, but I've been doing a lot better. Oh, let me take this down. What were you at, Lisa? I lost your comment. I can't, there we go. Oh, you're welcome. But uh, my mother and I, we now work out every single morning together on Zoom. 8.30, we log on together and we work on Zoom. And on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, my daughter and my cousin from New York, we hop on Zoom and do a nice little uh, light workout in the evenings. I don't know if you guys ever heard of it. It's like called Walk Away the Pounds. We do a quick walk. We walk maybe a mile or two together online and we get off. So now I'm starting to get more routine. I don't know. I just went off on a tangent with that one. Lori Murphy, I have a room full of yarn and another room full of fiber and three spinning wheels. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, we got a super chat. Cheryl, thank you so much. And cheers to you. So on the line for the wheel spin. Bohemian Velvet Double Yarn. This is 100% polyester. It is a 50 gram ball. I know I have three of these somewhere. I don't know what colors they're going to be sent, but that's what's going to be an option on the wheel right now. So let's see for Cheryl. Everybody give your fingers for her yarn. So close. <laughs> okay. You get the rain. Oh, I didn't mean to spin again, but you get the rainbow set right here. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. My email address is down below. Let's see. We got a super sticker, but my bubbles didn't go off. And I know it's you, so you get the bubbles. <laughs> Love and Crochet by Sarah. I am a hardcore crocheter. I have three patterns in the work. <gasps> Ooh. Send them to me. I love to share fellow fellow crocheters' work. So if you can find me anywhere, please just and I'll share it with all the followers. I love doing that. 
Oh, and you get to spend. Let me pull this down. I almost forgot. Oop, hold on. I've got emails popping up. Close. I don't want you guys seeing my email. Stop it. Okay, now I'm ready to share. Okay, that wasn't your thing. We're going to give you a good spin right now. Okay, what is she going to get? My crochet slipper boots. Where are they at? Right here. So make sure you email me, littlejohnyarns, gmail.com. Let me. My bubble machine, it's, it's time to get a new one. It's like on the outs, on the inside, it's like all rusted. So it's probably like blowing rusty bubbles coming out. Hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Carolyn says, hardcore, tubs in a bedroom, closet, and the corners in the living room. Yeah, this beautiful craft room that you see right now, mm -mm, this is my living room. I don't have space like that. People are like, Alicia, you are so lucky to have like a devoted craft room. No, I just kicked my family out of the living room and created my own craft room. I'm trying to get, we have this beautiful garage full of my husband's garbage. You know, I'm on YouTube. I'm trying to make that thing my, she, she shed. Ooh, that's so hard to say. I'm trying to make, cause it has electricity, put heat in there. I'm like, baby, can I have the garage? She's like, where am I going to put my man stuff? I like to do this. He has not touched that garage in years, but it's just full of junk. I don't even know how it gets there. Let's see. Do, do. I'm totally obsessed with crochet. I want to quit my study. I don't want to go shopping unless there's also yarn. I have hired a storage. I have to hire a storage room because it doesn't fit in the house anymore. Know what? You win. I think you got the most yarn. <laughs> do, do, do. Here we go. S.A. Johnson, your yarn would be a beautiful, your yarn would make a beautiful shawl where you can wear the V in the front. <gasps> Where's my yarn? This one. I only got two. I need to get some more. Definitely. Hmm. That would make a beautiful shawl. I need more yarn. Thank you. I have not made a shawl pattern yet. So I don't want to put this in the send out pile. I don't actually want to mail you guys the good yarn. Uh oh, it looks like my internet's looking sad over here. Can you guys still see me? Connections untrable. If you're on Wi Fi, plug it into the router. Okay. Guys, you guys still seeing me? Here we go. I hope so. Okay, my favorite, Maria, hardcore, whips in every room, <laughs> and my family hears, not now, I'm counting more than I can tell you. I cannot stand when somebody interrupts me when I'm counting. It's not like it's, they can't tell that I'm counting, because I have this counting face where it says, do not look at me. When somebody enters the room, let me pull this down. When somebody enters the room, I might be crocheting like this. But when I get into the room, I put my head down and I start moving my lips. So, you know, don't say a word to me while I'm counting or you're going to ruin everything. You guys might not experience this, but as a crochet YouTuber, I need silence when I'm recording. When my husband comes into the house, he always has his, I don't know why he doesn't wear earbuds. He always has his like, uh, the stereo, this Wi-Fi little box or whatever he carries with him, he like has his own theme music, whatever room he walks into. So it's like a trail of music that's quiet and gets real loud and gets quiet as he passes by. I'm like, please, can you turn down your music? It's like talking to my ch a child. Actually, I never have to tell my kids to turn down their music. This is like therapy. I shouldn't be telling you guys so much. <laughs> Let's see. All right, guys, do you have any more questions for me? If you do, one of my favorite things to talk about is crochet business. So if you have any questions like that, make sure you put question marks right in front of it. Let's see. Jay Ferg, I have one tote. Wait, oh, dear, this is another one. Jay Ferg, I have one tote, my whip bag, a project in a large sour cream tub of shawl in a ball. So, uh, so be glad when the yarn is done and more in the closet. Sour cream tub. 
I'm guessing just a large tub, not sour cream. I was reading that funny. <laughs> I'm a hardcore, um, I am hardcore. Any yarn I like, I have every color times two. Okay, that leads me another question. Let's say you're yarn shopping and you don't have a particular pattern in mind, but you come across a beautiful yarn. How many of those skeins of yarn do you buy? I find that to be very difficult. I can stand in a store like, I want this yarn. I don't know what it'll be. How many should I get? And I'll just, we'll sit there forever. Like, should I get two? But what if I want a big project? Then I'll get four. What if I want a sweater? Then I'll get six. It's endless. Let's see. And before you comment, make sure you put question marks in front of it so they can pop out and I'm able to see exactly what you're like, you know, posting. Let's see. Have you ever tried finger knitting? Yes, I think I learned finger knitting for the first time. Uh, what was it? When I was a little kid, like back in the 80s, those like uh, nylon, what are they like? Uh, is that finger knitting? I don't know. I've done orm knitting. Where you, uh, uh, I'm not a knitter, but I've done orm knitting. Is finger knitting like when you pull that over? That's like loom knitting. I get the still knitting. So yeah, I did this with the little nylon bands and I used to make like friendship bracelets and stuff with it. <laughs> At least 10 skeins. See, I guess if you get 10 skeins, you're like, you're gonna have extra. They're, you're covered either way. <laughs> Patricia four. That's where I get stuck. I'm like, is four enough? What if I want a big blanket? I usually either do two or six myself. Najat says, I would buy two at first because I would like to buy a large variety of yarn rather than one kind of yarn. I've never bought like one skein of yarn before unless like uh, I know I need black yarn. I'll get one uh, skein of yarn, or I know exactly what it is for that pattern. Sharon says, I get six, just in case I want to make something large. Okay, and any other ones? Teacher for Life says, at least 1,200 yards. You know what, <laughs> with at least 1,200 yards, you're guaranteed to be able to like, at least get a blanket out of it. I know for some of my sweaters can be around uh, 1,200 to 1,400 yards. So yeah, that's about right. All right, we're going to start wrapping it up soon. If you guys have any more questions for me, or are you just enjoying this? You want me to keep blabbing? Let me know. Or are you going to begin to wrap it up? Here we go. Oh, Toro, this is what I wanted to start doing for the summer because it's going to start warming up soon. But she asked, have you ever tried making earrings or necklaces? Yes, I've made chokers. I love chokers. I just bought, where I put in my new yarn, some crochet thread to make some more chokers. And I was going to publish a choker for next Wednesday. It was going to be based off, of course, Bridgerton. You know how uh, Daphne had that blue necklace that she wore? I wanted to make a crochet choker that was similar, but it didn't look like it, but the uh, medallion has it. I'm still not sure if I should publish it yet. Hmm. I wish I could like, I don't have it on me. I want to show you guys what it looked like, but I don't know, but that's one of them. Oh, uh, this is my Saturday date. Am I your date? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm making a bracelet right now. Ooh, I've never thought about making a bracelet before. It's a good idea. <laughs> Miss Lindsay says, I'm an excess when it comes to yarn and I will purchase all of it on the shelf. I have so much yarn now, I can actually open a store. Yeah, I I'm like that too. I'm not mad at you. For me, my yarn area is my Zen sanctuary. I know it might sound weird, but if I'm like feeling upset or stressed, I can, I don't know, it's weird. Looking at yarn, is very soothing or seeing like an organized wall of yarn is very soothing. I don't know.
do, do, do. Oh, we got a super chat and my thing didn't go off. Here we go. Boop. Boop. There you go for Carolyn. Thank you so much for donating via super chat. So right now you get a chance to spin the Willa patterns. Okay, guys, let's hope for some yarn. Here we go. Come on, yarn. You get my granny hat. The granny hat is right here. So make sure you email me for the pattern. Once upon a time, not once upon a time, like three weeks ago, this was my wheel of patterns. But unfortunately, so much bubbles got on it, like it got weighted. So it would like land on the same thing over and over and over again. So I got rid of it. And I got rid of it. I stopped using it. Now we use the electronic one. Stay. Okay. And thank you so much for donating. And cheers to you. Joyce says, I make amigurumi. So I usually buy one or two skeins of the same color at a time. But I get large varieties of color. I bet that's more convenient for you. I got to ask that to my friend, the Jet. also. Are you... Do you just buy small skeins of yarn since you mainly do amigurumi? In doing so, does it create, you probably don't have as much yarn as a crazy person like I do. I wonder this. Hmm. Oh, he, there we go. She answered. My yarn stash mostly consists of skin tones for my amigurumi, but it's too bad there's not a lot of variety. Oh. I just posted it on my Facebook page. Lion Brand just came out with skin tone yarn. Okay, guys, we got to take you on a field trip. Let me see if I can pull up my Facebook page. Facebook, let me pull it up first before, you know, you guys see all my weird at home pictures. <laughs> Pages. Little John Yarns. Okay, I'm ready to share my screen. Wrong one. Where am I at? There we go. Look, Lion Brand came out with skin tone yarns. About time. I love that. So, God, I wish I had a link for that for the description, but go to Lion Brand and look up their skin tone yarns. Uh, Brenda says, please keep going. I have nothing else to do beside crochet. I don't have anything else to do beside drink wine and talk about crochet. I'm still, wait, there's, who's this weird person? Okay, uh, you are getting blocked. Somebody's being all weird and spammy in the comments. Uh, be gone. Here we go. Hi, Yuri. <laughs> Keep Dorn, you're my date too. I guess I'm everybody's date tonight. I'm a, I'm sorry, I'm, a, I'm not that entertaining of a date. <laughs> I'm still so amazed people want to sit here and listen to me talk about anything. So guys, if you have any questions for me, ask them. I'm here. Anything you want to hear about, but make sure you put question marks in front of it. So what are our next week's... Uh, roundup going to be about. I'm still not sure. I have a couple roundups ready to post on my blog. I wish I can give you guys like a schedule. Maybe I should do that one day. Najat says, I would love the skin tones if it was a uh, sports weight yarn. You're right. That was worsted weight. So you got that like beautiful, fine amigurumi. You're like a true artist. I say this with anybody who does amigurumi. It is sculpting with yarn. My daughter would be like, hey, can you make something, something for me? Because she loves like those little amigurumi dolls she'll see on you, not YouTube or TikTok or something. I'm like, mm -mm, that's I can't. Give me a double crochet stitch. This is art. <laughs> Do you have any crochet reviews coming up? No, other than my crochet bike that I've been procrastinating about, that will probably be my next crochet review. I am running out of crochet uh, gadgets. What can I review that I haven't reviewed? Actually, I might just 
take the gadgets that I have and break them down into inner visual views. Usually I just buy five things and review them all at once. Oh, somebody's about to leave and let me say hi and bye to her. Sagoni Macaroni, I really enjoyed watching your live today. I love your energy and it was great to meet you. Thank you for joining us here today. I appreciate it so much. Okay, where was it? Okay, unapologetic mocha. I got sidetracked in my brain. How's the full time crochet gig going? Woo! It's it's going. I'm never worked so hard in my life, but I've never been so happy working hard at what I love to do. Does that make sense? When I worked my other job, yes, I enjoyed it. I loved it, but it wasn't my own creation. This, this is me. This is my baby, but it is very scary knowing you depend what you're going to produce each month. The depends on you. You know what I mean? People think, oh, you're making all this money. You can always go to my blog and check out my income report. But people forget, I got to pay my own taxes. You know, I have to pay my own health insurance. I have to pay bills in the house and kids activities and all these things. It's very scary doing that and realizing I have to maintain this on a monthly basis. That's why I do appreciate you guys so much for helping me uh, support me on my channel with your donations and super chat. It goes a long way. And when you donate, I don't want you to think I'm going to the Bahamas. I, I'm not. <laughs> One, uh, it's the pandemic. Two, I don't got it like that, but I appreciate all of your help. Ooh, thank you. She says, check out Nutella at Nutella at Instagram. She truly makes sculptures. Here we go. What am I? Miss Lindsay, I have to go, but another box will be coming soon. I'll see you. Uh, Brenda Thompson, do you have any pets? I do not. I was supposed to be getting a pet for my child, but I chickened out. Do you have any upcoming interviews? One potentially lined up. Stephanie, I'm going to pronounce your name wrong, Picorni. Picorni? She's the one that makes those, like on Halloween, those gorgeous, like, intricate. She made crochet the Predator before. She crocheted so many, like, ele what was it, Slimer from the Ghostbusters? Like a full crochet costume. She's made it on TV. Like, was it Good Morning America? Or she's amazing. If you guys know her, definitely look her up. Right now, she was having a, she's trying to promote a book that she has coming out. So if she has time, cross your fingers, I might be able to have her on her show. Is it easy being a crochet designer? No, it can give you an ulcer. <laughs> um, uh, it makes me happy, but no, it's not easy. Being a crochet designer is not about designing crochet at all. If crochet designing was the, a full cup of wine, crochet is down there. It's knowing about marketing. It's knowing about uh, reaching out to people. It's knowing about computer skills. It's knowing about social media. That's what can be stressful. And then knowing, let's say you're working with a yarn company, having a deadline. I enjoy having like, uh, I appreciate when I have sponsored posts. That means somebody will pay me to uh, talk about their product. But every time I get one, it gives me a pit in my stomach because knowing I have a deadline, knowing somebody else has to review my work, knowing this, that stresses me out. So that's why I usually don't do too many sponsors because I get like nervous inside. But luckily, speaking of sponsors, the one down below is actually one I actually enjoyed working with because it actually worked with me and my followers, which is you guys, which is audiobooks. <laughs> Every crocheter can listen to audiobooks because we cannot watch TV and realize what them characters look like on a screen while we're looking down at our hands crocheting. So definitely check that out. With Little John Yarns 5, you'll receive $5 off your first order. I think I was good with that segue. Hmm. Here we go. Uh, Marshall, I think I pronounced that right. How about doing videos using the gadgets by doing small projects for something similar? 
Hmm. What's some of the some of the gadgets I like I've done video on? They kind of been far stretched from crochet. I did these. I gave them to my mother in law. I should have kept them. I'll borrow them back for these uh, magnifying glasses you put on your head. Hmm. I could do like individual ones or the uh, lights you wear on your forehead or the lit finger gloves that you can crochet while having them on your fingers. There we go. All right, guys, I guess we've been talking pretty much a long time. So uh, let me take some of this down. Wait, well, there's one more. Proverbs. Is it very hard to... Okay. Is it very hard to have your own business? I give you credit. It is very hard having your own business. I give you credit for it. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And it's tough, but fulfilling. If it's something you truly want to do, do it. Right now, I'm trying to learn how to live in my box. I don't know when I see all these big crocheters, they're being doing so big and doing so many things. I try to learn how to not compare myself to them. Right now, I'm happy where I am. So I'm not going to try to add too much more to my plate. I'm just going to keep working with what I know right now and maintain happiness because I've never had so much free time with my family before. I've never been able to, if I'm upset at work, I'm able to go upstairs and just blank out and not do my work. So that is awesome. But all right. So guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you so much for joining me on this live stream. And I will be back next week with another crochet roundup. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.